Hi, everybody. This is Jeffrey at Right Color, and this is Nancy Jean in the garden. Happy New Year. Yes. Hope everyone's feeling okay, despite the amount of bubbly they may or may not have consumed. It's a new year. It's a new day. It's a new everything. Okay. So uh, this is the Daily Duo. We both read um, five energies, body, mind, spirit, grounding, and clarity. Um, I read cards. Nancy Jean reads um, stones or mm -hmm. crystals, whatever you'd like to call them. Mm -hmm. And um, please like, subscribe, share, comment, press the bell for notifications. We both offer private readings. We both offer physical goods in the physical world. I have astrology t-shirts, handmade scarves, handmade t-shirts, etc. Nancy Jean uh, has uh, gardens and grids available for purchase. Mm -hmm. All the information for all those things is below. And um, I think that's it, right? Pretty much it, except for Happy New Year. Happy New Year. We made it through 2021 and we're going to make it through 2022. One day at a time. <laughs> okay. Oh. Interesting. Okay. Yep. Okay. Okay. Body. Uh, is very like self-nurturing, mm -hmm. practical, abundant, right? This is, this is really about taking care of yourself. This is really about taking care of yourself. Mind, interesting to get the Queen of Swords. We love the Queen of Swords. She's, mm -hmm. To me, she's the most interesting of the Queens. I don't know if I like her the best, but she's definitely the most interesting. So she uh, is all about moving forward with her mind. She is all about leaving the past behind. She's left the past behind. It's done. What's done is done. And she's moving forward. Perfect for New Year's Day. Mm -hmm. Then we have the Knight of Cups, a gift, a healing, an opportunity. Mm -hmm. um, I, I really like him too. Well, he's, he's kind of the fiance. He's kind of the fiance. He is the fiance. And then for grounding, I have a sense of community, a sense of balance, a sense of giving and receiving, both. So really being part of something. It's also, this is about perseverance. So uh, yeah, I get a lot of this perseverance energy in, in all these cards because, you know, mm -hmm. he's about persevering. Um, you know, he's about moving forward. She's about leaving the past behind and moving forward. And then I get this, the lovely lady in the garden. Mm -hmm. So this is really about entrepreneurship, relying on, on oneself. This is about gain, about luxury. It's about, um, it's also, there's, this, there's a sense of gratitude in this card for me. There's a sense of you know, look at all I have and look at how hard I, 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 you know, work to get here. And I'm very grateful and abundant and, you know, um, you know, living the good life. It's mm -hmm. about living the good life. So for, a, for an opening for January 1st, it looks really good. You know, the sense of I'm leaving the past behind, mm -hmm. things are balanced. I have a, I have a plan. I'm moving forward toward this mm -hmm. very much uh, very good. okay uh, in the garden today uh for those of you who are not familiar with its architecture in the center is fire water air and earth and then the outermost ring those triangles are the chakras and the tree of life and then there's some comments that tell us kind of give us an energy about it so for the most part Everything ended up in the, for the most part, like 99.9% .9 ended up in the middle, which means we're at a very grounded, basic part of how we feel about life, which is good because it means we're not daydreaming, we're not wandering off, but we're getting set. And our body says that we're learning from our past and our clarity is coming from some of this holidays has made you have to re 
think um, a new uh, old ideas, but bringing them forward into the new year and finding new solutions for yourself. And that's great because our spirit is in water. Uh, that's an amethyst. And water is where energy in this, this part of the chart flows forward. And that means that really much of what we've been working towards spiritually is starting to be completed so we can work with it. Because a lot of times the spirit has to move first before the body can follow. Mm -hmm. So the spirit's done. And then emerging out of the earth, which is where things emerge from, is um, the mind for this, in this case, is that final thoughts of, about the situation are really coming. It's like you said, you're starting to see how this all sort of fits together. And then, um, but this little grounding stone in earth means more is going to become brought forward. But you're really at a point where spiritually, however you're your body and your clarity accept and bring through information, your mind can work with it and it can even stand more. So you've got some interesting changes coming. It's good mm -hmm. for the first of the year. But yeah, it sounds out, very solid. Right. You're not out there running around doing it today. This is very much of an internal process. So it's going to be very much of an internal day. Yeah. And it's all positive. It's all looking up. Sounds good. Okay. Happy New well, Year again. Happy New Year again. Blessings. Bye.